Hello friends, I'm Nayashik from blogtoot.com and today in this video I'll teach you how to create a professional podcast website with WordPress. Now recently I've been getting a lot of requests for creating a podcast website and obviously that does make sense because podcasts are very popular and in demand right now. Now this website which we are going to create in this video is really amazing. It has all the features that a professional podcast website must have. First of all, the design of the website is really beautiful, it's really amazing. Secondly, we can easily add audio in the website and the visitor can come and listen to the audio online or they can even download the audio. We'll also see how to create a series and how to add timestamps in the podcast so that user can go to different sections of the audio if they want. We'll also be creating a sponsors page wherein we can showcase our sponsors and also add a contact form so that if someone wants to sponsor our podcast, they can contact us from there. We'll also add a donation form so that if someone wants, they can donate us online. And at the end, we'll see how to export these podcasts on Google and Apple podcast. All right, guys, so enough of talking. Now, let me very quickly show you a very small, very quick demo of the exact same website that you'll be creating in this video. So if you follow my steps, you will be creating the exact same website that I'm going to show you right now. Now, just to let you know, guys, that you don't need to be an expert. You don't need to know any programming, any technical knowledge to create this website. Anyone and everyone can simply follow my steps. And at the end of the video, you will have this website in front of you. And because these videos are a little bit longer, so what I have done is I have given timestamps in the video description below. So if you want to jump to some different section, you can simply click on that time and you will be redirected to that section. But I would highly recommend you not to skip any section. Watch the complete video. It will clear all your doubts and you will learn something new. All right. Now, why do I show this demo website in the beginning? Because I want you guys to see exactly what is the website that you will be creating in this video so that you know what is the exact website, what are the features, how is the design, what all the different options, okay? And you can decide at the beginning of this video whether you want to watch the complete video or not, all right? So let's see the demo. So first of all, if you see on your screen, this is our home page. At the top, we have our header. Here we have our logo. You can change this thing and put in your own logo. After that, we have our menu. Now, as you can see, the design is really amazing throughout the website. If you see when you hover this, we get a very nice, very beautiful design. Then at the right hand side, we have this search bar. When you click on that, this whole section will turn into a search bar, which is very important because when people come to your website, they might be searching for a particular topic. So we have to give them a search bar over here. Then after that, we have this option. When you click on this hamburger icon, you will get this off canvas sidebar. So when someone wants to search or someone wants to watch a podcast based on a particular tag, for example, based on marketing, they can click on this marketing tag and they will see all the podcasts which are related to marketing. And at the bottom, they can see the most loved, most liked podcast on this website. All right. Then after that, you will see this audio player is given over here. So you can simply click on this audio player, you click on this play button. You can simply click on the download button and the audio will be downloaded. You can increase or decrease the volume and all those basic things. Then after that, we have the featured slider. So featured audio slider. If you want to put in some special uh, podcast at the home page in the slider, you can do that as well. Okay, as you can see, very beautiful, very nice. Now, a very great thing about this website is that when you scroll down, as you can see, the slider or the audio player is now sticky. It's now fixed at the top. So if someone is playing some audio on your website, they don't have to search for that audio. Where is that playing if they want to pause it or something? They can always see this audio player at the top. Very important option. Then after that, we have the next section, which is our podcast series. So as I said earlier, we will be creating series as well. So if there is a podcast on a particular series, for example, business series, science series, you know, a marketing series, you, you can create a series of podcasts and you can add those series in one particular section. So when you click on this science podcast, you will see the complete thing. Then after that, we have this newsletter section, which is also a very important section. I'll show you how to integrate MailChimp with this website. So if someone signs up with this newsletter, whenever a new podcast is published, they will get a notification. Very important option again. Then after that, the newest or the latest podcast are given over here. At the right hand side, we have a small sidebar. Again, if they want to search for some, they can search it. We have featured some sponsors over here. So if someone wants to click on the sponsors uh, icon, they will be redirected to the sponsors page. Now we have the most popular podcast. And after that, again, recently added podcasts. 
then we have the featured author so if if you have multiple authors creating you know mul multiple podcast on this website you can have a featured author section like this then we have top authors as you can see there are many different authors on this website so you, you can do this as well then at the end we have our simple footer okay so this was a very quick demo of the home page now we'll be creating some more pages just to make this website more complete i don't want to show you how to create only the home page and after that you have to figure out all right now how do i create this page and that page so i want to create a complete website so for that we'll be creating more pages like the blog page so blog page in this case is the basic podcast page so here they can come they can now again you'll see a very important very beautiful thing when you hover over this you can simply play this audio from here you can like this thing you can add this in your wish list you can search uh, share it you can add this in your wish list all these options are given and when you hover this title as you can see beautiful animation so design is really amazing and some really cool features are added in this website all right now after that we have the series page so this is how your series page will look like so in this page we'll be adding all different series okay as you can see there are around nine series on this website so we'll be adding this page as well we'll also see how to create this sponsors page okay as you can see this is our sponsors page we have focused or we have showcased featured all our sponsors over here and if someone wants to sponsor a new podcast they, they can simply fill in this form and click on send then after that again we have the donate page so if someone wants to come over here and they can make a donation uh, they can uh, offline they can make an offline donation they can pay through paypal they can make an online donation and so on and then we also have an authors page which is not very important but if you want to create this page you can do that as well if you have multiple authors on your website now let's see how a single blog page would look like or how a single podcast page will look like so let's click on this podcast now as you can see this is how it will look like so we have the same header we have the um, audio player when you scroll down we have you know, like the audio player again over here you can add some text you can add some featured image you can add some quote so if some someone had some important quote in this audio you can add that as well you can add a gallery you can add this download button there are many different options available over here you are not seeing all the options over here when we create this video i'll show you there are many many more different options that you can put in in single podcast page all right guys so this was a very quick very short demo of the exact same website that we'll be creating in this video I hope you guys like the demo website. If you want to create the exact same website, make sure to stay tuned and watch the complete video. Now, before proceeding further, make sure you guys subscribe and click on the bell so that you don't miss any future updates. So whenever I upload a new video in the future, you will get a notification. If you find this video helpful, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. I would really appreciate that because that really helps me a lot. If you have any doubt, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comments section below. With that being said, let's get into the video. Alright guys, now to create any kind of website, whether it be a podcast website, an e-commerce website, a membership website, blog website, any kind of website, we need two basic things. A domain name and a hosting account. A domain name is simply the URL or the name of your website. For example, blogtoot.com nayashek.com youtube.com google.com all these things are different domain names so we have to register a domain name on the internet so someone wants to come to our website they can simply type in their domain name and they can land on this website so we need that thing and the second and the most important thing is a hosting a hosting is basically a computer when in all your website data all your website file is saved for example, if you see this website, all these different pages, the home page, blog page, all these different pages, all the audios that you see, everything is saved in that computer. And that computer is running 24 seven so that whenever someone wants to visit your website from any country at any given time, they can see your website live. Very important. And hosting is the most important thing about your website because everything on your website is directly or indirectly related and dependent on hosting. For example, the most important thing is that your website speed is dependent on hosting. If you have a good hosting, your website will load very fast and that will really improve the user experience on your website. If you have a bad hosting, obviously it will take a lot of time. It will just keep on loading and it will take a lot of time for your website to completely load. Secondly, because this is a podcast website, our audio will not buffer. If you just click on play, it will not buffer because our hosting will be good. Also, when someone clicks on download button, the audio will be downloaded very fast, very quickly. 
So all these things are dependent on hosting. And if your website speed and performance is good, you will also get better ranking in Google search results. So as I said you earlier, hosting is the most important thing. Everything on your website is directly or indirectly related to hosting. Now at present, the best hosting in the market is SiteGround. So you can simply open a new tab and type in blog2.com slash SG. Now SG stands for SiteGround and this link is also given in the video description below. So you don't even have to type in this thing. You can simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page. Now click on this option or select this option reliable web hosting and click on get started. All right, guys. now as you can see there are three different plans available over here startup grow big and go geek. Now SiteGround is the hosting that I'm personally using on my websites and that is the hosting that I use for my clients website and that is the hosting that I recommend because in my personal experience this is the best and the fastest hosting provider at present. I have tried many different hostings because you know we create these YouTube tutorials, WordPress tutorials. So every single almost every single hosting provider big and small they approach us they give us hostings for free they tell us you know try our hosting it is better it is better everyone says that their hosting is better so i have tried many different hostings hostgator bluehost a2 hosting tmd hosting sideground many different hostings and in my personal experience this is currently the best hosting provider this is currently the fastest and the most reliable most secure hosting and that is the reason why i am personally using it on my websites now, as I said earlier, there are three different plans, Startup, Grow Big and Go Geek. To create this podcast website, you can even start it with Startup Plan. Okay, so it's very cheap. As you can see, only $4 per month. So if you want, you can simply go ahead and start with the Startup Plan. But there is one very important and very major difference between these three plans. So uh, let me tell you that. So in Startup Plan, you can create only one website. Whereas in Grow Big and Go Geek plan, you can create unlimited websites. This means that today you're creating this podcast website. Tomorrow, if you want to create some other website, maybe tomorrow, if you want to create uh, another podcast website for someone else, for your client. So you don't have to purchase a new hosting again. You can simply host your client's website on the same server on the same hosting. So you just purchase a hosting once after that you can host unlimited number of websites on one single hosting very very important point so i would recommend you to start grow big because you know you're getting unlimited websites to be hosted after that we are getting 20 gb web space so we will be getting 20 gb of web space that is really amazing you can use 20 gb web space and this is the ssd web space now most of the companies out there in the market they use the hdd web space they use HDD storage. Now HDD is very slow, very laggy. So if your website is hosted on a HDD server, your website will be very slow. It will take a lot of time for your website to be loaded. But here on SiteGround, these guys are using the best quality SSD servers, SSD storage. So our website speed and performance improves and you're getting 20 GB of web space. With 20 GB, you can add thousands of different audios on your website and you can also create you know, hundreds of websites, hundreds of normal business websites. Now, after that, we have 25,000 monthly visitors. Now, this is for your understanding, just to give you an idea about which plan is better for what kind of website. So this plan is better for those websites that get around 25,000 monthly visitors. Now, it does not mean that your website, if your website gets, you know, more than 25,000 monthly visitors, like 30, 40 or 50,000 monthly visitors, you will have to upgrade to GoGeek. It does not mean that even if your website has 40, 50,000 monthly visitors, Grow Big Plan can easily handle that. It is just for your understanding and just to give you an idea. After that, we get some more and essential features as well. For example, we get the free SSL certificates unlimited SSL certificates so you can install SSL certificates on unlimited number of websites. Now this is a very important feature because we will be accepting donations on our website and if you don't have a SSL certificate you cannot accept donation you cannot accept payment on your website so very important. You can also create free business email accounts unlimited business email accounts. So instead of nayar at gmail.com, you can create nayar at your website name.com and you can create unlimited email accounts like that. We also get free Cloudflare CDN. Now this improves the performance and security on our website and we also get free daily backups. So even if something happens on your website, you have a daily backup, you can simply restore your website. We have 24 seven support, very important. And the support of SiteGround is the best in the market. 
So you can see these options as well. Now we have some premium features as well. For example, most important here is free site transfer by our experts. So if we have a website hosted on maybe HostGator and maybe if you're not happy with the performance and if you want to move to SiteGround, you can simply purchase this plan. You will get a you will get an option like if you want to transfer your website, you can simply click that button and they will transfer your website from HostGator or whatever hosting it is to SiteGround for free. We also get super cacher for great speed. So caching is a different thing. I have a complete video on caching. So you can watch that. You'll understand what this caching is. So basically it improves the speed of your website. All right, guys. So there are many different features. We are not getting into that. So you can simply select grow big. You can select startup. I'm personally using the go geek plan. But for most of you guys, I would recommend you to start with the grow big plan. So whatever plan you like, simply select that and click on get plan. Now we have to register a new domain. So whatever domain name you like, you can simply type in over here. For example, if I want to register this domain name, Nayer Sheikh, I can select that and I can select the domain name extension like .com, .net, .org, .biz, .info, whatever domain name extension you want. You have .online, .blog, .shop and some country specific. For example, for India, we have .in. So all these different uh, domain name extensions are available. Simply type in your domain name of your choice, select the perfect extension and click on proceed. Now, if you have already registered a domain name on some other website like GoDaddy, Namecheap or some other hosting company, you can select this option. I already have a domain name. Type in that domain name which you have registered and click on proceed. Now, in this step, you have to fill in all your basic information. First of all, you have your account information. In account information, you have to enter your personal email address and you have to choose a password. And obviously, in confirm password, put in the same password. And this email address and password, whatever you will be entering over here, this will be your login credentials. So whenever you want to log into SiteGround, you will have to enter this email address and password that you will be entering over here. So make sure to remember this email address and password. Then after that, we have client information. So your basic information, your country name, first name, last name. Now company and tax ID is not compulsory. So you can leave these things. After that, we have city, zip code, street name and your phone number. Then we have the payment information. So simply enter your credit card, debit card, your ATM card number over here, enter the expiry date, enter the CVV number, which is given at the back of your card and enter your cardholder name. Now, one thing to note over here is that Visa, MasterCard, MasterCard and American Express. These cards are accepted over here. And if you're from India and if you have a rupee card, which is very common in India, you know, whenever you create a new account, you know, today, if you create a new bank account, you'll get a rupee card because that is a domestic card. That is a card by a government. So they want to promote it. That's good. But that card is a domestic card. It's a local card. It is accepted only in India and out of India. You just cannot accept it. You cannot use that card. So here that card is not accepted because obviously this company is based in USA, not in India. So make sure you have a visa or a MasterCard, which is also very common in India. Also, if you have a rupee card, you can simply go in your bank and you can tell them to exchange your card or to upgrade your card to Visa and MasterCard. Now, within few days, normally within seven days, they can exchange your card. Then after that, we have purchase information. You don't have to change anything over here. Just check whether everything is properly put in over here. Like our plan we just selected was grow big data center is Singapore. Data center will be automatically selected for you. For example, I'm in India. So for me, Singapore is selected. If you're from USA for you, I'm, I think it's Chicago. So whatever data center is perfect for you, it will be automatically selected for you. Period should be 12 month. Make sure you don't change that because if you change this, you might have to pay some extra money. So make sure 12 month is selected. Now go at the bottom. Don't tick mark anything uh, over here. Tick mark these two things. And if you see, if you notice over here, the complete package, you're getting it for only $71 for the first year. Now that is really amazing because as I said you earlier, SiteGround is the best, is the perfect hosting provider right now, the number one hosting provider in the market right now. And you're getting a complete year of hosting for just $71. Even if you go to some mediocre hosting uh, provider, you'll have to pay around $100 for the first year. But here you're getting it for only $71. So I think this is really amazing. Now, once you put in all the information, you can click on pay now. Once you make the payment, you have to come to this website, ua.siteground.com. 
And here you have to enter the email address and password that you have selected in the previous step under account information. So under account information, whatever email address and password you have entered, simply enter that email address and password over here and click on sign in. Now here you have to click on my accounts. Now click on go to cPanel, this red button. Alright guys, so this is our cPanel, this is how your cPanel, this is how mostly every single panel looks like. Now before installing WordPress, before going uh, further with the WordPress and creating website, I want to show you two or three different steps, very important steps. First of all, for those people who have registered your domain name on some other website like GoDaddy, which is very common, I'll show you how you can connect that website or that domain name with SiteGround. So let's first do that. So to do that, first go to the website where you have registered your domain name. So for example, if you're registered on GoDaddy, go to the GoDaddy and sign in to your account. Now here you'll see all the domain names that you have registered on GoDaddy. If you want to use any domain name, for example, if I want to use this fahem.in with SiteGround, I can select this thing and click on DNS. Now here you'll see your DNS name servers. Now what you have to do is you have to click on change and delete both these name servers from here. Okay, delete them. Now come back to your cPanel and here at the top left corner, you'll see your name servers. Copy your name server number one, paste it under line one. Copy your name server number two, paste it under line two and click on save. Now once you click on save, you have to again come back to your dashboard and this time you have to select this option, add on domain. Click on this option. Now you have to do this setting, add on domain setting only if you are using for a secondary domain. Let me ex explain you what I mean by that. For example, if you remember, we have uh, uh, when we purchased SiteGround, I entered the domain name nayashek.com. So if you are, that becomes your primary domain. So if for primary domain name, you just have to change your DNS name server. You don't have to do add on domain. But add on domain is important when you want to add some more domains. For example, now I want to use fahem.in. So for that add on domain is, uh, is important. But if your primary domain name add on domain is not important. All right. So it's simply enter fahem.in.com, whatever your domain name was, press tab. And when you press tab, these two lines will be automatically filled in a uh, username and document root. After that, enter your password and click on add domain. Now, uh, when you click on add domain, the domain name will be added at the bottom. And again, I'm saying when, if you're using this for your primary domain, you will get an error that you cannot add your add on your domain for the primary domain name. All right. So make sure to do these two changes. Make sure to change your DNS name server. And after that, make sure to click on add on domain. So these two things are important if you want to connect your domain name from some other website to SiteGround. After that, we have to install SSL certificate. Okay, if you come to the demo website, you'll see it says that this connection is secure and we must have an SSL certificate. So what we'll do is we'll simply scroll down at the bottom. We'll see this option security. Under that, we have let's encrypt. Click on that option. Now go at the bottom. Now select the domain name on which you want to install SSL certificate and simply click on install. Now once you click on install, your domain name will show up on this list. If it does not show on this list, don't worry. It takes four to five minutes for SSL to get installed on your domain name. You can simply refresh this page and after that you'll see your domain name over here. Then when you do that step, come back to your cPanel again. So we have done two very important settings. We have seen how to, you know, redirect your domain name to SiteGround. We have seen how to install free SSL certificate. Now let's see how to install WordPress on your domain name. So for that, you'll see this WordPress logo. Click on this logo. Now click on this install button, this blue install button. And from here, first of all, you have to choose your installation URL. So under protocol, select HTTPS. Okay, you have to either select the third one or the fourth one, HTTPS one. Okay, so I'm selecting the third one, HTTPS. After that, select the domain name on which you want to install WordPress. So select that thing and then we have in directory. Make sure this in directory thing is blank. Don't type in anything in in directory. Just choose the third protocol and after that, choose the domain name on which you want to install SSL certificate. After that, we have indirectly make sure this thing is blank. Don't type in or then don't put in anything uh, over here. Okay, then scroll down. You can name your website something. For example, I'll just name it blog dude and you can describe your website in few words. So maybe if this is about WordPress, you know, podcast, so I'll simply type in that. 
then you have to choose a username and password so make sure to delete this username and enter your own username of your choice change this password and after that also make sure to change the email address put in your own personal email address now one thing to remember this username and password should also be remembered so make sure you re remember this username and password make sure you write it down somewhere just remember it okay because in the next step when we want to go to and log into our wordpress dashboard this username and password will be useful now go at the bottom and you'll see wordpress starter is tick mark untick that and click on install now wordpress is getting installed on your domain name this generally takes 10 to 15 seconds so let's wait all right guys as you can see wordpress is successfully installed on our domain name now what we can do is we have two links over here open both the links and in, in new tabs the first link is simply your website link this is how your website should look when you install first time wordpress second link is your dashboard link so now let me cut this page now this dashboard link is a very very important page this page is very important make sure you remember this page now whenever you want to come to this page you simply have to type in your website name your domain name after that put in wp hyphen admin okay as you can see on your screen your website name slash wp hyphen admin so whenever you want to come to this page make sure to remember this link now whenever we install wordpress for the first time there are few basic things that we have to do and there are few basic things that we need to understand so let's do that so at the left hand side you'll see there are several menus we will be using most of them in this tutorial first of all at the left hand side you'll see appearance click on that option so appearance option basically changes the appearance the design of your website for example if you see by default this 2019 theme is installed and this is how your website design looks like now theme is basically the design of your website so whenever you want to change the design of your website you simply add a new theme and your design will be changed now we want to change this boring this really bad design to something amazing something really cool like this one so for that what we'll be doing is we'll be adding a new theme later on just with the, after a few seconds i'm just explaining you what this thing is and after that we'll start creating everything now again from the left hand side you have plugins click on that option you should see one plugin already installed over here this is sg optimizer you'll see this plugin only if you have SiteGround, if you're using SiteGround, because as you can see this plugin is by SiteGround, and this is only for SiteGround website and this is a very important plugin again it improves the website speed and performance and that is exactly what a plugin does plugin adds some extra functionalities and features to your websites for example we don't have by default we don't have this audio player player functionality but later on we'll be using a plugin that will add that functionality on our website so that is what a plugin does now again from the left hand side you have settings click on that option now just make sure your site title and description is correct and also make sure your email address is proper and go at the bottom click on save changes then under settings you have permalinks click on that by default the day and name one is selected we have to select this one post name select that option click on save changes now again we can come back to our dashboard all right guys now it's time to install theme on our website so that we can change the design of our website we can make it something amazing like this now when i started doing some research on this topic like when i started creating and searching for podcast website i went through many different themes and this is the perfect theme that i found at present this is the perfect theme in the market so this is the one that we are going to use right now so if you want to get this theme simply open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash wp cast now this link is also given in the video description below you don't even have to type in this thing simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page now as you can see this is the uh, plugin page this is the theme page actually wp cast audio podcast wordpress theme this is the best theme now as you can see this is always trending because you know this is getting very much attention because of the features that it has now you can see all the options all the features that are available as you can see apple and google podcast ready so you don't have to create rss feeds and those things you will understand what i'm talking about everything is simply ready for you, you just have to you know copy a link and you have to paste it on itunes and on you know google podcast and everything will be done for you we have featured player which we have seen 
series manager, series cards, you know, page builder is included, 40 different, 14 different short codes, many different options are available over here. Now you can simply go ahead and click on buy license and you can purchase this product. You can simply click on buy now. This is $53 and this is a one time payment, which means that you don't have to make this payment like every year or every six, six months or something like that. You just make the payment once and you can own this website or you can own this theme forever. So whenever this theme is getting updated in the future, if this theme gets updated in future, if new functionalities are added, if new designs are added, you'll still get those options for a lifetime. So really amazing thing, just pay it for once and you can own this theme. Now make sure to simply click on this buy now button and purchase this theme. I have already done that. So when you purchase this theme, you can hover over your username and click on downloads. Okay. Now you'll see your theme over here. Like as you can see WP cast. Now you have to click on this download button and you have to select this option, all files and documentation. The first option, when you click on that, a new file will start downloading. As you can see quite huge file 277 MB but it has all the important uh, files in it. Now let me cut this file because I already have this thing. Now when you download this file, let me show you how it will look. So this is how it will look. Okay. As you can see, this is theme forest, some number. Now this is a zip file. So we have to unzip this thing. We have to extract this file. So right click on this and click on extract files. Okay. So on the unzip this file, when you unzip it, you'll get a new folder by the same name. As you can see new folder by the same name, open that folder in that folder. You have the theme file, open the file. And you have your theme file. This is the WP cast theme file that we have to upload on our website. Let's do that. So for that, again, come back to your dashboard, hover over appearances and click on themes. Now click on add new, click on upload theme, choose file and choose the file that I just showed you. So in this folder, theme folder, WP cast, select this file, click on open, click on install now, now click on activate. Alright guys, so once you activate this theme, we have to add another theme. Okay. We have to add a child theme. So click on add new again, upload theme and choose file. Now the, now the next file WP cast child, select this file and click on open, click on install. Now, once it is installed, you can activate this file. You can install the WP cast child theme only after installing the main WP cast theme. Okay. And there are many different benefits of using a child theme and we are not getting into that right now. Now, when we have this theme, we don't need this one 2019. So I'll simply delete this thing. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to paste in our license so that we can download all these plugins. If you don't paste in your license over here, you cannot download these plugins. So let me show you where you will get your license. So you can simply click on this option. You can simply click on download and click on license certificate and purchase code. I think you will get your license or you can click on this uh, theme theme file. You can again go back to blogdoodcom slash WP cast. You land on this page. After that, click on support, scroll down. You'll see your purchase code is given at the bottom. Okay. Copy that purchase code from here. Come back to this website and click on this option. Please activate your link option. Click on that link. Now paste in your purchase code over here and click on verify. Now you should be getting this option. Thank you for choosing WP cast, whatever version it is. Now we can begin installing plugin. Now click on this link, begin installing plugins. Now there are many different plugins that we get with this website. So let's select this one. When you tick mark this thing, it will select everything and we can download, we can install and activate all the plugins at once. Now under bulk uh, actions, select install and click on apply. Now all the plugins are getting installed automatically. So let's wait. All right guys. So once all the plugins are installed and activated, you can go at the bottom and click on return to required plugin installer. And one was left, I guess let's install this as well. Now again, click on return to dashboard. Now we should uh, have all our plugins installed and activated. Now, whatever notice you can, you'll, you'll get, you can simply dismiss those. Okay. Okay guys. Now let's start creating our website. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll come back to our website and refresh it. Now, as you can see, because we have added a new theme, the design is completely changed and we already have a very similar design. As you can see, we already have a very similar design to the demo website. Okay. So as you can see, this is what a theme does and we have many different plugins with that theme. So this is really amazing. 
Now, what we'll do is the first thing that we'll do is we'll start creating the podcast because that is the most important thing. So if you want to create a new podcast, you can simply hover over post and click on add new. Now, let me just open a single podcast so that we can see how it looks and what all are the different options. All right. So this is how a single podcast looks like. So I'll simply, you know, copy this uh, title from here. Come back to this website and whatever your title is, you can enter that title over here. Building a career in astronomy is the future or whatever your title is. Okay, whatever the title of your podcast is, enter that title over here. After that, we have this option here. You can enter all the details or all the different content that you want. So we'll be adding the audio first of all. So we'll click on add block and we'll click, we'll search for audio. And here is the option, select this audio. Now upload that audio. Now just uh, just to let you know guys, uh, when I record these videos that I'm, which I'm recording right now, uh, like I just recorded, uh, if you see my latest video on my channel, let me go to my channel, youtube.com slash Shake. The latest video which I uploaded is how to automate your social media marketing and this video is really doing great. Really great performance by this video. Now when I create these videos, the audio file which I have is huge. Like. If, if the audio is maybe one hours long, uh, audio file size will be like two GB. Okay. It is that huge. So for example, let me just give you a very simple, this social rabbit, which I just created this plugin, this audio one, as you can see, uh, this is 21 minutes long and the size is 425 MB. So if you have some problem like this and if your file size, if your file size is huge and if your file format is something else. If it is not MP3, if, if, if it is some other file format, you can go to a website called online audio converter, I guess. Okay. Just search for search on Google online audio converter. You'll get this first website online audio converter.com. Now paste in or just select that file. For example, I'll, I can select that, uh, this file, click on open. I can select what format I want to convert this into. So make sure this is MP3 and always select standard 128 kbps after that click on convert and it will upload that file and it will convert it for you i'll just cancel it okay just to uh, just to let you know guys okay so when you have this mp3 128 kbps you'll have a very nice very standard format your file size will also be small and the audio quality will be amazing so once you have your file your audio you can just upload that thing now let me do one thing So I want to upload this audio. So I'll simply click on uh, open. Now, as you can see, we have simply uploaded this audio. Now we can simply click on publish, but obviously it is not yet ready, but I'm just showing you how this file or how this page is now looking. Now let's open this view post link in a new tab. Now, as you can see, this is how your audio file looks like, or this is how your page looks like. Now we have to fix some more thing. For example, we have added this audio. After that, we have to add that audio link, download link in this option. Okay. In player option. So let me show you how you can get that download links. Now open this media file in a new tab. Now we have just uploaded this audio. So whenever you upload a file, you'll see that file under media. Click on that file. You'll see this option, copy link, copy, just double click on that. Make sure the entire link is selected. Copy this link, come back to this website and paste this link under download or buy link and after that again you can click on update now let's come back to this page refresh it okay now as you can see we get this download option now anyone can simply click on download and that file as you can see just got instantly downloaded because as i said you earlier if you have a better hosting your audio player will not lag it will not buffer and also your download speed will be very good now we can click on this play button you can play this audio and you can do the, those things as well okay now let's come back to this thing again now we need to do one thing. We see if you see, uh, we have, we don't have any image over here. Whereas in this, uh, in this website, we have this beautiful image in the background. So if you want to enter that image, if you want to put in this image, you can select this option from the right hand side. Make sure you have clicked on document. First of all, at the right hand side, you'll see this featured image, click on set featured image and select some file. So there is a link given in, in the video description below. When you click on that link, uh, you will download a zip file and that zip file, when you unzip that file, you'll see all these files that you see on your screen. 
all these different images, all this and many different code, CSS code as well. We'll be using these CSS codes later on in this video. You'll download all the images for free. Now let, let us select some image. For example, let's see what image we have used over here. Something like this. So let's select that image. Let's upload maybe. Let me just upload this image. So we'll select this and click on open. Now click on select once it is uploaded, click on select. All right. Now one thing to remember, very important thing. We have to change the file format or the post format to audio. So by default, if you see under document post format is by default standard, we have to make this thing audio. We have to change this thing to audio and we also have to give a category to this. For example, this thing belongs to black holes category. So if there is some category, if this post belongs to a particular category, we can add a category that so that whenever someone clicks on that category, they can see all the podcast related to that topic or that category. So again, from the left hand side, untick uncategorized, click on add new category and uh, let's add science. Maybe this is related to science category and click on add new category. All right. So we have done few things over here. We have added the audio. We have added the download a link. We have added the featured image. We have changed the post format to audio and we have created or we have added a new category. Now click on update. Come back to this page, refresh it. Now, as you can see, it looks totally different and this time it looks much better. Now we have this audio player at the top. We can click on this. It will start playing. Okay. Let me just reduce the noise. Okay. You cannot hear it because the audio is, you know, my speaker is off. But is, as you can see, it is playing. You can click on this download button from here. The video uh, audio just got downloaded. You can click on this play button. It will start playing. This is the science, uh, you know, category. This is the title. This is the author date. This has two views. So whenever page views increases, this number obviously will be increasing. We have this featured image here as well. Now we have the download button as well. So this was the most basic thing about creating a podcast. Okay. So we have seen the basic thing. Now let's do some more things to make this podcast stand out. So to make this podcast re really amazing and let's add some more content in this. We have added the most important thing. We have added the audio, but if you want to add some, maybe if it was related, if this audio or this podcast was related to some you know, coding thing, some development thing, website development thing. And if we were talking about some code in that audio, like, you know, in that audio, I'm saying now you have to paste in this code and something like that. So you can add those codes over here so that we people can see those things and those uh, different codes, those different text images, everything from here. So let's do that. So let's come back to this page and let's start adding some more things. So first of all, we'll do one thing. We'll click on this plus button and select paragraph. Now let's add some simple text. I'll copy this much and let's paste it over here. Now, if you want to add this drop cap, okay, this is what a drop cap is. As you can see, the first alphabet becomes bigger and this really looks amazing. So if you want to achieve this, uh, this thing, you'll see when you click on this uh, file, you'll see at the left hand side block option, click on block, you'll see this drop cap, just make it uh, on and you'll see these changes has occurred. From here, you can change the font size and everything, you know, all the options are available to you. You can do these things. You can change the font color to red background color, font color. All these options are available. Okay. So if you want, you can do these things after that, click on update. So this text is now added after that. If you want to add some more thing, for example, this code thing, okay, this is a code. So some, if, if the person who was present on the podcast, you know, gave us a nice code. We can add that as well. So let's see how we can do that. So again, we'll click on this plus. If you don't see that plus button at the bottom, you can click on the plus button at the top, add block button and here search for code. Now there are two types of code that you can add two designs, simple code and pull code. Let's use, let's use both of them. Let's see what are the difference. So first select cloak code, paste in the code and whoever the person is, I'll just type in somebody. Okay. This is how the design is. Now again, click on this plus button again, search for code. Now let's select the second one, pull code. Again, we'll add the text and somebody let's see the difference between these two. So click on update, come back to this page, refresh it. 
Okay, as you can see, we have the uh, drop cap thing over here. This is the first the style code and this is the second style pull code. Okay, so both the styles look very much similar. Uh, the only difference is this is full width and this is contained. Okay. After that, we have some more things. So let's click on plus button and let's add a gallery. So I'll simply search for gallery and we have this gallery. Okay, let's add something like this. So to add a gallery, you simply use this thing, click on upload button. Uh, just select all the images that you want. Maybe I want to, uh, I want these three images. I'll select that and click on open. Now, as you can see, this is how your gallery will look like. If you want to change this style, you can see at the right hand side, we have like, if you want to make it two column. Okay. This is how it will look. If you want to make it one column, this is how it will look. Okay. So I'll make it two columns and this looks amazing. Let's click on update. Then after that, we have some more. If you want to, uh, you know, embed something, for example, let's click on this plus button. If you want to embed a YouTube video, you can simply search for YouTube. Okay. And select this option. Just copy the YouTube video URL. For example, let me just copy this right click on this video and select this option. Copy link address. Come over here. Paste in that link and click on embed. Now, as you can see that video is embedded, you can embed some more thing. For example, you can embed uh, maybe a SoundCloud. Okay. SoundCloud option. Go to soundcloud.com. Now select any audio for example, whatever it is. I'm just, I'll just right click on this and click on copy link address. Come to your website, paste in that link. Okay. I think let's first open it and copy this link. Okay. Which is given at the top, the URL link, paste it, click on embed. Okay. Now as you can see that uh, thing is now embedded. Now let's click on update, come back to this page, refresh it. Okay. Now you have your gallery, you have the, uh, you know, embedded video and the audio. So you can use these different blocks to, you know, make your podcast stand out to make and to add some more features. Now, if you're talking about some product, you can add a affiliate button as well. For example, let's click on this plus button and let's search for button, select this option. So maybe we were talking about, um, some product in this, some Amazon product. So maybe. So I'll type in this text over here. We'll click on add text and we'll type in get the product and under the product URL, you can go to amazon.in.com and uh, get your affiliate URL. Okay. And I'll copy this thing from here. Come back to this website, paste in that thing. Click on this enter, click on apply. That thing will be applied. Click on update. Now that has become your affiliate button. So whenever someone clicks on that button and makes a purchase, you'll get a commission. Okay. As you can see, get the product button. You can change the style of the button from the left hand side. As you can see, background color, text color, you know, many different options are available to you. You can change these things as well. And after that, click on update. All right, guys. Now there is one more thing left. If you see, uh, this is the normal design that we have, and this is the perfect design. According to me that we have everything in the center and nice amount of padding from left and right. But if you want to add some sidebar, you can do that as well. You can go to this option, post template and select this option force sidebar. Okay. And after that, click on update, come back over here, refresh it. Now, as you can see, we have a sidebar. Now we'll see later on in this video, how to change the content in the sidebar. So if you want to change what comes in the sidebar, we can do that as well. We'll see how to do that later on. Okay. Now let's continue adding some more things. Now we have seen two things. Okay. We have created a podcast. We have seen the basic things like adding audio. We have seen some more things like adding this drop cap, this gallery block code to make it more amazing. Now let's go one step further and let's see some more amazing things. Now, first of all, uh, let's add, let's see how to add timestamps. Like uh, as I said you in the beginning of this video that there is timestamps given in the video description below. So with timestamps, if someone wants to jump to some different section, for example, if a visitor or a viewer wants to jump to the section where I start creating the homepage, they can click on that time and the video will play from that time. So we can do the same thing for the audio in this website. So let's see how we can do that. So to add a timestamps, go at the bottom and you'll see this option track list, uh, podcast track list. So this audio is quite small, 10 for 10, 20 seconds long, I guess. Okay. So let me add a timestamp. So suppose 
and you should remember the title over here so title maybe introduction in starts at uh, um, uh, and you can also add a subtitle i'm not adding that and you can see the time format is r minute seconds so introduction starts at maybe zero zero at five seconds after that i'll click on this plus button and then we have a we are talking about science okay from 15 second okay then we have another thing so maybe after that we are talking about marketing okay from 25 seconds so you can add these timestamps and click on update come back to this page refresh it now as you can see we have the timestamps over here now if you click on introduction the audio will play directly from 5 seconds if you click on science for example let me show you let's play this audio okay now let's click on 25 now as you can see the audio directly jumped to 25 seconds okay so this is how it works very good option now if you want to add this audio in a series okay if, for example if this audio if this podcast belongs to a series we can create a series as well now again from the left hand side from the right hand side under document you will see this option qt series click on add new series and maybe this uh, is related to a series called science okay so i'll simply add science as a new series click on add new series okay now as you can see a new series has added now when you're creating a series i would recommend you to add episode number at the beginning that would be much better so in the title you can type in just episode one okay this will be much better for you click on update now this will belong to a series okay and a new series card will be added uh, we'll see how to use that series card later on now with this we have seen this was the most important most basic thing so this is as you can see so easy to do so this is how you create your first podcast your first blog okay now let's see some more things for example when you come to this let's refresh it first of all when we come to this page and when we scroll down you have this author box at the bottom now if you want to change something for example it is at present displaying my username which is very dangerous because people know okay fine this is your username they will try to log into your dashboard using this username and it just says author and you know if you want to change the image change the username uh, and if you want to change the design let's see how we can do that so for that come back to your dashboard and at the top right corner you'll see howdy your username so hover over that and click on edit my profile now let's see what we want to edit so first of all under nickname i just want to type in my name not my username all right and we can type so you, you can enter your website uh, link for example you can enter your website link your twitter your facebook all these urls you can add or you can type in something about yourself let me grab some you know text from here okay this is maybe about me you can change your profile picture you can add a cover image let's do that so i'll add this cover image insert into post okay so you can change these things from here after that click on uh, update profile come back over here refresh it now scroll down now as you can see this looks much better your profile is changed you have a nice beautiful design at the background and the username is not changed we'll, we'll see how to do that we have a bio now when someone clicks on archive they will see all the podcast posted by this username now i think it is not changed because we have to change this thing display name publicly as select this option nayar shake okay update it refresh it now as you can see that is now changed so this is how you change your author details very important so that you don't have any you know security issues on your website all right guys now let's start creating the home page let's see how a home page is created a beautiful home page let's see how to create that so for that make sure first you create few different podcast and after that you create home page so that you have some content to work with so to create your home page or to create any page you simply hover over pages and click on add new now we'll uh, give it a title so let's name it home simply after that click on publish now let's see how this page looks like so click on view page all right so this is how it looks like now i need to do some changes over here first of all i don't want this title okay i want this page to be filled with and i don't want the title so what i'll do is i'll come back to this page cut this thing under document you have this option template select page full width Okay, if you don't select page full width, it will display like this. But I want to display it full width 
like this okay home page so select page full width under template and select this option head hide page header select hide because we don't want this header we don't want this title and everything when you do that option click on over here refresh now as you can see the header is gone this is your footer that you see okay and this was your header and that is now changed now we need to do one thing we have created a page we have named it home this is not our home page for example as you can see it says your website name slash home you can name the page anything and it will be slash about slash contact so this is not yet our home page if you click on this thing you'll see this is your home page okay we need to change this thing we need to convert this website we need to convert this page into our home page let's see how we do that so again come back to your dashboard hover over settings and click on reading now at present your home page displays your latest post we need to display a static page so select this option a static page and under this select home and click on save changes come over here refresh it now as you can see that slash home is gone and this is now our home page okay this is now become our home page all right guys now let's start adding all these different things on our home page so for that again we'll come back to our dashboard click on pages select home page click on edit and this time click on this blue button wp bakery page builder so we will be using this page builder to create our home page you know that really makes it very easy you'll see yourself how easy it becomes to use a page builder to create your pages now click on backend editor now first of all we have this option at the top we have this slider okay this podcast slider uh, post slider so for that we'll click on add element and we'll search for slider you will get this option post slider click on that now how many items or how many podcasts do you want to display in this slider so maybe two three four whatever number is you can select that if you want to display you know only uh, if you want to display in this slider only podcast from a particular category you can click on narrow data source and enter that category name for example we have created science category now as you can see series you can add a podcast from science series or science category okay this is how it is done now click on save changes click on update come back to this page and refresh it okay now as you can see with this one simple step that took us two seconds we have this complete beautiful thing in front of us all right now let's see the second thing so after that we have the second section and the second section first we have the title let's add this title so for that to create a new section we'll click on this big plus button and to add that title to add this thing we'll use a element called caption okay search for caption you'll see this option click on this now what should be the size so i want this size to be a little bit larger so i'll select large what should be the text this should be the text podcast series so i'll simply copy it from here paste it under text now alignment should be center or left center because as you can see this is in the center select this option click on save changes after that we need to do one thing we need to add some space as you can see below this line we have some space and after that we have this you know uh, this cards series cards so we need to add some space so for that we'll click on this small plus button and search for space now select this option there are two options empty space and responsive space select responsive space so and we want to add a small space so select s for small click on save changes after that we need to display the series grid uh, you know if you we have rem if you remember we have created the science series and in that series this is how the series displays okay so we'll add we'll click on this plus button and search for series grid okay there are two options series grid small and large we have to select the large one select large now how many columns do you want to display how many series do you want to display what should be the title for example here the title is you know episodes as you can see the title episodes so if you want to change that title you can change that as well all the options are given simply click on save click on update come back to this page refresh it scroll down as you can see we have this series now there is no image getting displayed under series uh, link under series uh, background so let's see how to fix that so to do that again come back to your dashboard hover over post and select qt series we have created this science series and click on edit now add an image so let me add this image okay so let's add this image click on insert into post click on update 
come over here, refresh it. Now, as you can see, we have that image in the background. So you can do this option to put this image. And now as you can see episode one and whenever a new episode is added, it will automatically show episode two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. Okay. So with this, our second section is also completed. Now let's move on to third section, which is this newsletter section, very important section again. So we'll come back to this page to create a new section. We are always use this big plus button, click on this. And for this one, again, first we want to add this a uh, caption. So for that, we'll search for caption, enter the text. And this time we want this to be extra large because if you see, this is larger than no, the earlier one. So we'll select extra large and we'll make it center align. Now we'll click on save changes. After that, we have this MailChimp form. If you see this MailChimp form, first we'll need to create this form. Very easy. You don't have to do anything. I have given you all the codes. So you can again, go back to your dashboard. You'll see an option at the left hand side, MailChimp for WordPress. First, we need to connect our WordPress website with MailChimp. So simply click on MailChimp for WordPress. You'll, they will ask you for your API key. So if you want to get your API key, open a new tab, go to MailChimp.com. Now again, I'm saying if you want to learn more about email marketing, more about MailChimp, how to use MailChimp, how to do email marketing for free. For absolutely free, you can go to YouTube. There is a video on my channel or you can simply search for Nayar Sheikh MailChimp tutorial. As you can see, you get this uh, suggestion or you can type in Nayar Sheikh email marketing. Okay, as you can see, this suggestion is also available. So simply type in that you'll get all the videos. There are many videos I've created. There is one Hindi video as well. If you know Hindi, if you understand Hindi, there is one Hindi video as well. Always watch the most latest one. So this is the most latest one three months ago. Very, very important. This was so detailed. I was so happy with this video. Make sure to watch that. You'll learn a lot of new things. How to automate your email marketing. For example, when someone purchases a product, how to automatically send them a thank you message or how to automatically send them a coupon or something like that. A-B testing, e-commerce features, amazing video. Make sure to watch that video, obviously after watching this video. Now again, come back to this page. Now, first we need this MailChimp API. So we'll go to MailChimp.com. Uh, make sure to log in, go to your dashboard. Now you'll see this option. Uh, hover over this, click on this and click on account. Now click on extra, select API keys. Here you'll see your API key, copy it from here. Come back to your website, paste your API key over here and click on save changes. Now this will connect your website with MailChimp and it will get all your list that you have created. So you can see your list over here. I think it is under audience. Now they call it audience earlier. They used to call it list. Now, as you can see, I have created list two, Nayar list, list one, list three, block dude list. So it will get, it will fetch all your list from here. Now you need to create one thing. As you can see, it has fetched all your list. How, what is the list ID? How many subscribers and so on. Now we need to create a new form. So click on form. You can name it anything. So I'll just name it uh, form one. And I want to add this under list three. Click on add new form. Again, I'm saying if you don't understand what's happening over here, what is list, what is all these things, make sure to watch that email marketing tutorial. Now delete everything from this code. And again, go to that link. Again, I'm saying there is a link given in, given in the video description below. Click on that link you will be redirected to my website blogdude.com post and there you will see free images. Let me just show you. Okay, let, let me just show you. So this is my website, whatever post you open, for example, how to create a free e-commerce website when you open this post. Below every single post, you'll see side ground link, whatever thing is needed for that. And you'll see this option, download free images. You have to click on download. You will download a zip file. As you can see, this is a zip file. When you unzip that thing, you will get all the different files which I have shown you earlier. You know, you'll get these images and you'll get few CSS files, home CSS, MailChimp CSS, contact form CSS. Open this one, MailChimp CSS. Copy everything from this file. Come back to your dashboard and now paste it under form code. Now, as you can see, you have this design ready for you. Click on save changes. Now come back to your website again, this page, edit page. Now click on this plus button. Now search for text block. Okay. This is the one click on this. Now go to that MailChimp thing. 
here you'll see this short code use this short code copy this short code from here come back to this page delete everything and paste in this short code that you have just copied and click on save changes now we have to do few more things them actually we have to do many more things but first let me just update this page and let's refresh it i first want to show you why we are doing anything okay so when we scroll down okay as you can see this page looks a little bit different a little bit bad i would say we have to fix a lot of things first of all we have to add a background image okay uh, after that we have to make this size of this uh, this list or this form small because if you see this form is stretching you know it's touching both the corners both the sides we don't want that we want this form to be smaller then after that we have to add some some more things so let's see how to do these things okay we have to add some gap at top and bottom as well so first of all we'll come back to this page and we'll do one thing we'll select this uh, option text block click on this plus button or this pencil button go to design option and let's add some padding top and bottom okay so for that you have to use these options this padding things which is given over here so i'll, I'll add 46 pixels at top and 26 pixels at bottom okay and left and right i'll add three percentage make sure to you know put in this percentage sign after three so top and bottom is simply 46 26 left and right is three percentage okay so what does padding do is it will add some gap okay it will add some space you can say in simple words okay now after that simply click on save changes update this page come over here refresh it now as you can see there is some gap from left and right three percentage and there is some gap at top and bottom now let's improve it little bit more so let's add this background image and let's add some space at top and bottom okay so for that again we'll click on this time we'll click on this pencil button edit this row okay click on that pencil button now scroll down and search for parallax here it is parallax select this simple now add an image in the background parallax so we will be adding this image so let's upload this image here it is select this file click on open click on set image now parallax speed uh, i want to maybe decrease it a little bit i want to make it 0 0.7 okay enter this thing now we need to add some space because as you can see at top of this text and at bottom of this form we have some space so let's add some space go to design option and for padding top and bottom i'll be adding uh, maybe 100 pixels from both sides top and bottom click on save changes update this page come over here refresh it okay again as you can see it is again looking very much similar now let's fix it more now what we have to do is we have to change the color of this thing to white and we have to make the form smaller let's see how we'll do that now first of all to change the color of this text to white you'll select this caption click on this pencil button go at the bottom under class type in this thing page hyphen white text okay this is a pre-made css class we'll understand this thing just enter for now enter page hyphen white text under caption okay now select the second option uh, the text block click on this pencil button go at the bottom now under class name here we have to type in this thing a little bit longer but you'll see this on your screen uh, page hyphen custom hyphen max width hyphen 650 now what does this do uh, this this will make your page 650 width now this means that we want to add everything under 650 pixels uh, let's let's just see what happens after that okay you will understand that much better and after that we don't want any margin so these two texts and click on save changes now when we update this page nothing will happen let's update it nothing has happened because we have added some CSS class, but we haven't added the actual CSS. So to add the actual CSS, again, go back to the file that you have downloaded. Now you'll see this file, home CSS. Open this file. You'll see two, three simple lines of code. Simply copy it from here. Come back to this page. Now click on this gear icon at the top, page setting, paste in this code. Now here, as you can see, this was the CSS code that we used, page custom max with 650 and what we are doing is if you don't understand css don't worry simply copy paste everything you'll get the result we are making the maximum with 650 and margin zero after that we are adding this thing as you can see page white text we are adding the color or we are changing the color of the text to white uh, hashtag fff is the hex code for white 
click on save changes, click on update, come back over here, refresh it again. Now, as you can see, we have the exact same website. So that is what that code does. Now, after that, we have another section, very important. And this is a very easy section. This was a little bit tricky section. I can understand if you don't understand CSS, uh, it might be a little bit tricky section, but it's fine. You just have to copy paste everything. Now, next section is very simple, which is fresh post. So to create, to create this section, we'll first do one thing. We'll click on this plus button. We'll select row and we'll divide this row into two columns. As you can see, this row, row is divided into two columns. At the left column, we have this post. At the right column, we have these different widgets sponsored by search insight and all those things. Also, if you note the left column is bigger than the right column. Okay, so let's do that. So to divide this row into different columns, you will hover over this and you will select two columns, three columns, how many columns you want. If you select three columns, now as you can see, this row is now divided into three columns. I want to divide it this into two columns, but I want to make the left column bigger. So I'll select the third option two by three plus one by three. Okay. This is how you will see your page. Now in the left column, the first thing that we need is this caption, this simple text. So we'll click on this plus button and we'll search for caption Add the text. Okay. And we want this to be large and left aligned. This time we don't want this to be right al uh, center aligned. We just want this to be left. Click on save changes after that, click on plus. And now we want to add this recently added. First, we need to add some space. Okay. As you can see, there is some space in the between. So let's search for space, select responsive spacer, select small, click on save changes. And after that, we want to add this recently added podcast. So for that, we'll select for list and select this option post list horizontal. Click on that option. Now, how many posts do you want to show? Maybe three. Okay. And if you want to again search for only particular category, you can select that category. Click on save changes. Click on update. Come back to this page. Refresh it. Okay. This is how it looks. We'll fix that. Don't worry. Okay. But for now, as you can see, the content is present. We have the title and we have the text. Uh, we have the podcast over here. Now come back to this page again. Now after that, we have, uh, if you see, we have this button more post. So we have displayed three posts, but when someone wants to go to all post button, all post page, they can click on more post. So let's add that button. So click on this plus button and search for button and select this one. Now what should be the button text here? It says more posts. So we'll simply type in more posts. Now I, I will be linking, I won't be linking this to anything because we haven't created any page right now. We haven't created the post page, but I'm sure that when I'll add, create the post page, the link will be website name slash post because I'll be naming my post page simply post. Okay. So select that option, make the center alignment and button style should be default. Now click on save changes again, update it, come over here, refresh it. Scroll down. Okay. We don't want this in the center button style. Well, let's make it default alignment default. Click on save changes. Click on update. Refresh this page. Okay. You see something like this, but I think it's fine because we have not added container. Once we add container, everything will be fine. So let's add container so that we, this thing will come in proper place. And this button will also come in the proper place and let's add some space at top and bottom. So come back to this page again, click on this uh, pencil button, edit this row. Now simply tick mark this thing, add container. What does this do is this will add some space from left and right, the normal space. Okay. So select that option, add container, click on save changes, click on update, come back over here, refresh it, scroll down. Now, as you can see, everything is properly aligned button and everything. Now let's add some space at top and bottom. So again, we'll click on edit a uh, row section, go to design option. Let's add maybe hundred pixels top and bottom padding. Click on save changes, update, refresh it, scroll down. Okay. Nice and better as you can see. Now after that, we have to add this thing. Okay. At the right hand side, we have to add that sidebar. So first we have to create a sidebar. So if you want to create a sidebar, you can hover over appearances and we can, you will see this widgets option, open this widgets option in a new tab. Now here you'll see this right sidebar. If you, if you just do one thing, if you click on this plus button and search for widget, you'll get this option widgetized sidebar. And if you select right sidebar, click on save changes, click on update, 
and come back to this page and refresh it it will display your sidebar and it will display all the content that is at present available now we want to de delete all this content and we want to add our own content so first we'll start deleting everything under the right sidebar whatever you see just delete that now let's add our own content so first of all the first thing that we need to add is this search bar so again come back over here and let's find this search widget which is over here select this widget make sure right bar is selected click on add widget if you want to add some title for example here we have given this title search insight let's add that title click on save come back to this page refresh it okay now as you can see we have this thing and if you remember in the uh, in the post also the same thing will be changed if you see the post sidebar the same thing is changed because here also we have the right sidebar so whatever we enter over here that sidebar will be used everywhere on our website okay now the next thing that we want to add is this sponsored by and we want to add this simple gallery now let's select this gallery widget you can simply drag and drop under right sidebar let's give it a title sponsored by and let's add four different images over here okay so one two three four click on open now click on create a new gallery or uh, you can change the size to large if you want and columns we just want two columns okay two columns because here we have two columns and the size is also fine click on insert gallery click on save again come over here refresh it okay you can see this is how it will look then after that we have most popular podcast so for that again we'll come over here and we'll search for this option wp cast archive card a uh, card widget okay select this one title will be most popular you know podcast post type will be post how many i just want to show one and select views okay so the one which which has got more views the most views obviously will be the most popular so we'll select views click on save come over here refresh it okay this is the one after that we have the recent post list okay so we'll again come back go here now this time we'll select this one wp post list widget right sidebar and title will be recent posts i just want to display three page order which is fine now click on save come over here refresh it okay with this we are, our sidebar is completed again if you see if you open a single uh, list you'll see the same sidebar present here as well now again come back to this page now because we have added this sidebar let's add one more sidebar let me show you first of all let's all minimize so if you see the demo website we have this thing in the header hamburger icon when you click on that you get this option so let's add this as well so to add any widget in that header you have to use this off canvas sidebar first thing that we want to use is tag cloud so here it is select tag cloud now this time select off canvas sidebar and click on add widget title do we have any title yeah the title is navigate by tag so copy this title from here paste it over here click on save second thing most loved podcast okay for that again we'll select wp cast post list make sure off canvas is selected and how many you want to display you can select that and the title is most loved so in, instead of page order we want to select love okay now come over here refresh it now as you can see we have the hamburger icon when you click on that now you don't see anything over here because we haven't added any tag so let's do one thing let's edit this post let's edit this po podcast and add a tag so at the right hand side you have this tag option maybe this is related to science so science can be a tag uh, maybe this article is talking or this podcast is talking about future or astronomy so astronomy can be a tag Okay, so all these uh, tags can be added. Click on update. Now come back to your website again. Now when you click on this icon, you'll see uh, tags available. Now when this post gets more love, you will see more like more shares and everything. Okay, more rating. That this will start showing on this list. Okay, so that is how it works. Now after that we have let's see what we have. Okay, we have featured author. Now this is not really important uh, because you know uh, I I don't think 
most of the people will be having like you know many different authors in this page but still because we have created this in the demo website let's see how to create it so i'll come back to this page again click on this plus button now add a new row now first of all what i'm gonna do is i want to add some space at top so for that we can do this thing we can go to pencil button we can add some padding from here or we can go to plus button and we can simply use this space so both the options are available a uh, responsive spacer uh, this time some medium space click on save changes okay so you can do this as well now after that we'll do one thing we'll click on this plus button and we'll add another row so inside a row we'll add another row and inside this we'll add this caption because we want this uh title so we'll search for caption enter that title now size whatever size you like so maybe for this we'll select large and obviously it is center so center now after that we'll click on this plus button and we'll add another row now the reason we are adding another row because this row is single column and the next row that we want should be divided into two columns because we have one thing over here another thing over here and again this column this row will be all, uh, also be divided into two by three plus one by three first thing that we need to add is again some space okay as you can see some space below this thing so again first we'll add some space and this time small space after that again we'll click on this plus button and we'll search for or we'll use this featured author okay and author id if you have only one author leave this thing if you have multiple authors you can open this user tab in a new open this user in a new tab and when you click on any author you'll see their id now we haven't created any author for example if i want to create a new author i'll click on add new uh, author username maybe farhan khan email can be uh, some email let me just wait quickly first name farhan second name khan some website you can set a password for them uh, let me just set a password for this person and role should be author okay whenever you are because you want to be the don't select this option administrator only you should be the administrator because if you make someone else administrator they can delete you from the website if you make them author they can do only one thing they can post new podcasts okay so if you want you can do that now click on add new user that user will be added okay now when you edit that user if you click on this edit you'll see at the top you have this user id is equal to 2 now this is the user id when you are the only one user you haven't added any user you don't have to enter any user id but when you create another user you will always see some user id for example if i enter 2 that person will be shown but i am not entering anything because uh, i just want to be myself over here so i'll just cancel this thing i'll cut this as well okay so this will display the featured author now in the right side we want to display this thing okay this uh, card thing so again we'll come over here first of all uh, i'll copy this responsive spacer and bring it over here because here also we need some space first of all and after that i'll click on this plus button and i'll search for uh, cards grid select this option now how many columns we just want uh, one column on tablet also one column click on save changes now click on update for now let's refresh it scroll down okay this is how it will look all right featured author we have this thing uh, at the left hand side at the right hand side we have this card again we have to make this thing container we have to add some you know uh, image in the background and this thing will be fixed so come back you know, over here and click on this pencil button the main pencil button okay the first one edit this row one if you follow my cursor the first one which is at the top select that pencil button now first of all we need to add a parallax okay so i'll select this simple and let's add this image so upload this image here it is select this click on open now i want the speed to be very subtle so i'll just select 0 0.1 almost no parallax almost it will feel like it is fixed okay so select this option now click on save now for these two options caption and sec second one like the second inner row and this third row just click on this pencil button and make them add container okay so that we can have some padding from left and right after that click on update come over here refresh it okay now as you can see 
this is how it will look okay why is it displaying two let's see cards okay data under this data setting you have to select total items one click on save changes and again update this page and come over here refresh it okay that is now fixed now again we want to make this thing white and we want to add some gap at the bottom so let's do that so we have already seen how to make this text white click on this pencil button add the same uh, css code and the code was page hyphen white text click on save changes and again at the bottom uh, i'll copy the first a responsive spacer and bring it at the bottom okay that was medium i guess or you can okay that that was small so you can simply add a new small spacer at the bottom click on update come over here refresh it now as you can see white text space at top and bottom okay so with this this is also done and if you want to display top authors like this again come back at the bottom click on this plus button first of all let's add some space okay some small space at top after that just click on this plus button and search for authors small this time we don't want to display featured author we just want to display all the authors so authors small and post count uh, everything is fine just click on save changes and let's make it container so make sure you select this option row setting add container click on save changes uh, maybe we should increase the, we should make this thing medium responsive spacer at top and bottom click on save or click on update come over here refresh it okay this is looking much better okay we forgot this title let's add this title okay click on this uh, plus button search for caption okay top author i think this is small i guess medium medium is fine left is fine click on save changes i want this uh over here and below this caption we want some small space okay responsive spacer small uh, let's bring just below the caption okay so space medium then caption then space author small then space okay medium space caption small space authors again medium space all right click on update come over here and refresh it again okay it is fixed okay and do we have okay fine so with this we have completed the home page now we have this uh, header and footer left but before creating header and footer let's create some other pages like the authors page sponsors page you know those blog page and series page those pages so for that again we'll come back to the dashboard and we'll hover our pages click on add new now first of all let's add the series page so let's open the series page let's see how it looks click on series now we'll give it a title series title now to make this page series page uh, at the right hand side you'll see page attributes under that just select archive series click on publish and view this page okay now as you can see this is your series page and if you want to add some image at the top come back and add a featured image just select any featured image of your choice click on select update again view this page okay now as you can see title series one series is available right now this is the one and this is how the series page should look like okay now after that uh, we'll again come back to the dashboard let's add another page uh, blog page should be a simple page so hover pages click on add new or uh, give it a title blog and under template it should be blog grid there are different styles of blog blog horizontal blocks uh, blog grid sidebar blog grid you can try all those different templates whatever you like it you can keep that so i'm just selecting this let's view this page okay this is simple single uh, podcast will be in this page okay and this is the title again if you want to add some image add a featured image now after that uh, let's add the sponsors page now this is how the sponsors page looks like as you can see let's let's see how to add this page so to create a new page again we'll have our pages click on add new let's give it a title sponsors now we want to make it full width so make sure under template page full width is selected and we don't want any uh, heading as you can see the heading title is not present so we'll select hide page header and we'll make it hide click on publish now we'll use wp page bakery page builder to you know design this page so click on backend editor 
Now, first of all, we want to add a row and we want to divide this into two columns, equal size columns. Okay, so we'll click on add element row and divide this into half plus half. Now, first of all, let's add some space at top. So we'll click on this plus button and we'll search for space, responsive spacer. And uh, let's add some small space at top, click on save changes. After that, we want to add this text. So I'll copy this text from here. Come back to this page, click on this plus button, search for text block and paste in this text. Now the first text or the, uh, the title that I want should be H1. So select this title and select head heading one and the other text like this text, this should be heading three. So come over here, select this much and select heading three. Now click on save changes. Now let's add the button. So click on this plus button, search for button. And uh, this is how the button looks like. It says become a sponsor. So title should be become a sponsor. Now when we click on this button, it should redirect us to next section. Let's see how we can achieve that. So under link, you can type in hashtag and you can name it anything. So I'll just name it uh, promote hashtag promote. Okay. Remember this thing that we have named it promote and just below before promote, make sure to enter hashtag. Okay. And uh, rest everything looks fine. Button style should be primary and alignment should be default. Now click on save. Now again at the bottom, let's add some small space. So I'll simply copy this spacer bring it at the bottom. Now at the right hand side, uh, we want simple gallery. So we'll click on this plus button. We'll search for gallery, select this option and let's add uh, how many nine different images. So we have already four over here. Let's add five more. All right. Click on open and let's select all nine. Okay. Now click on add images. Make sure image size is uh, medium and linked image size is large. Click on save changes, click on update. Come over here, refresh it. Okay, not this page. Let's open this page, sponsors page in a new tab. Okay, this is how it looks. Obviously, there are many things that we have to fix. Let's see how we can fix this thing. So first of all, we'll select the main row and we have to do a few things. We want to make it uh, for equal height. Okay, select equal height so that if you see the demo website, the height of both the columns, if you see, is equal. Okay, so make sure to select this option first of all, equal height, and we want the content position in the middle. Okay, click on save changes, click on update. Come over here, you will see the difference. Uh, uh, refresh it. Now, as you can see, the content is now in the middle, but still we have to fix this second column because you know it is not looking that good. But we have we, we see two changes are done. This high size of both the columns are now same and the content is in the middle. We have some uh, space at top and bottom. Now let's fix some more things. Now, first of all, we'll select this pencil button for to edit this column because we need to change the color of this column to this yellow color. So we'll select this option. We'll go to design option, change the background color to uh, that yellow color. And if you want to get that exact same color, you can use this code F F E. 923. Okay, now as you can see, we have the exact same color code over here. Now let's add some padding and margin. As you can see from left and right, we have some padding and margin. Let's add that. So for that, I'll add uh, this is the padding. So I'll add 8 percentage padding left and right. And for margin also, uh, let me just copy this. Margin also 8 percentage left and right. Okay, as you can see, just well, whatever you see on your screen, just enter that. Okay. Now click on save changes. Now let's select the second column. So select the second column. Now go to design option. Now here left and right padding and margin should be zero. So select margin zero, padding zero, mar uh, padding zero, margin zero for left and right. Click on save changes, click on update. Come back to this page, refresh it. Now as you can see, this is fixed. Uh, we have this thing over here. Uh, the background color is also changed and this is how it looks. And this should, okay, I, no, we have some gap. Let's see how, what is causing that. I think we should not add that margin. This margin is adding this extra space. So let's select the uh, first column, edit, uh, edit that column and delete this margin. Just add 8% padding left and right, not margin. Click on save changes, click on update, refresh it. Okay, now as you can see, this has fixed. So no margin was needed. 
only padding left and right 8 percentage and with this this section looks amazing now after that what we have we have this contact form so let's first of all add a new row now what i'll do is i'll name this row i'll give a id to this row i'll click on this pencil button edit this row you'll see row id uh here it is now under row id just type in promote okay because if you remember in earlier button we have added hashtag promote and here the row id is promote so now what happens is whenever someone uh clicks on this uh, become a sponsor button they will be as you can see in the url bar redirected to that uh, particular row okay so that is what you will see you will understand it much better when we see that you know live on the website now once you save that changes now what we have to do is we have to add another row inside this one okay so we'll click on this plus button add another row and inside this row first of all we need this uh, caption so we'll come over here add select this caption add the text large left and line fine click on save changes now after that we need to enter or we need to add this contact form so again you'll do one thing you'll open the file that you have downloaded and you'll see this file contact form open this file copy everything from here go back to your dashboard click on contact you'll see this contact form one edit this file delete everything that you see over here paste in the code that you have just copied and save this file now once you save this thing come back to your website and click on this plus button which is over here click on this plus button and search for contact form 7 and select the contact form 1 click on save changes now we have what we have to do is we have to select the first column the main uh, column edit column and select this option section vertical padding now select the inner column okay this one click on edit this column and for this one we have to change the background color to white because if you see the background color of this section this much is white and we have some space from all the sides so when, once you change the background color to white let's add padding of 50 pixels from all sides click on save changes update this page come back to your website refresh this page scroll down now as you can see this is how it will look and i think we should add that container so let's do one thing let's select this row click on add container click on save changes let's update it refresh it okay now it is looking better we wanted to add that container now as you can see we have some padding from all sides and this looks amazing now when you click on become a sponsor as you can see we are redirected to this section because we have you know we have named this section or we have given a section id of promote okay that is why that is important all right guys so with this we have also completed the sponsors page now the next page that we need to create is the donate page so we'll very quickly do that as well hover pages and click on add new okay just name it donate let me open the donate page over here so that we can see okay so this is how it looks like so nothing to change simply click on publish or uh, make sure to uh, add a featured image if you want this image in the background now we want to add some text first of all so i'll simply copy this text click on this plus button and search for paragraph paste in this text over here after that we want to add the contact form or this donation form so let's see how to add this donation form so for that we'll come over here or uh, on our dashboard obviously and you will see let's see donation settings from the left hand side here it is donations first let's see the settings so hover over donations open this settings in a new tab okay so donation success page failed page and history page is automatically created for you so you don't have to do anything now select your country so for me it is india select your state i am selecting maharashtra click on save changes now what currency do you want select currency i want indian rupee so just type in indian rupee or whatever currency you want and you can see currency position how you however you want and click on save changes now access control should be fine let's see okay it's fine sequential ordering no need to do anything just go to payment gateways now here as you can see we have few options now i don't want test donation so i'll in i'll just untick this so it will be disabled uh we, we can have offline donation we can have stripe and we can have paypal standard and the default one if you want you can set stripe to default or 
PayPal to default after that click on save changes and also make sure that test mode is disabled. Okay. Uh, let's click on save changes. Now go to PayPal standard to do PayPal setting. Now just enter your PayPal email address where you want to receive donation or receive the money. Okay. And after that click on save changes. Now click on offline donations and in offline donation, you can just enter uh, the name on which you want to receive the check. Uh, your, you know, all the bank details so that someone can send you offline donation. They can send you some, you know, details. Uh, they can send you some checks and something DD and all, everything. So enable that, click on save changes and make sure to enter all your details in that. PayPal standard was enabled, I guess. Yeah, it is enabled. Now go to Stripe and uh, we have to connect Stripe. So click on connect Stripe. Now enter your Stripe email address and password and click on sign in to your account. Now you will ask, uh, they will ask you for some permission and you'll have to fill in this form. Very simple form. Uh, I cannot fill in this form. I cannot show you because my uh, uh, Stripe is not yet available in my country, which is India. But if you're uh, from other country, like you can see the list of country in which it is accepted. Uh, Australia, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, uh, Malaysia, Portugal, Singapore. So India is not in this list. So I cannot show you how to fill in this form. Very simple basic information, your address, your type of business uh, and your card number, your legal number, date of birth, all this basic information. Just enter that and Stripe will be enabled on your website. If Stripe is accepted in your country, after that click on update. Now again, come back to this dashboard uh, Stripe setting. Where is that gone? Okay, settings. Okay, so make sure you uh, do all those settings. After that, we have to create a form for donations. So we'll click on add form under donations. And you can name it anything. So I'll just name it form one. Now multi-level donations or just a sim single donation. If you set single donation, people can just donate you, up, you know, one amount. For example, if you set $10, they can don donate you on only $10. If you select multi-level uh, style, radio, button, whatever, you can add multi-levels. Like for example, 10 rupees, I'm selecting Indian rupees. So I'll select 100, 100 rupee for a uh, beginner. Another one, maybe thousand rupees and you can name it anything silver, then maybe 10,000 rupees gold. You can name it anything. You can set any one of these as a default. Click on publish. Now form display, click on that. Do you want to display all form? What should be the title of the for submit button? Add, uh, for example, as you can see here, it says donate now, which is fine. And uh, whatever you want to enable or disable, you can do that donation goal. If you want, you can set a goal, which will display like this, as you can see, uh, like uh, those funding websites. If you have a goal, they, it will say 3% funded, 10% funded. So if you have some goal like that, you can enable this and percentage raised. You can show amount raised. You can enter your goal. For example, 1 lakh rupees. Okay. Progress bar color. Click on update. Now form content. If you want, you can add some content. We don't want to do that. You can add some terms and conditions, offline donations. And you, so basically you don't have to do those settings. You can simply update this much. Now come back to this page, uh, refresh it. Now click on this plus button and search for give form. Select this give form. Select the form form one that we just created. Okay. It will display like this. Click on update. Come back to this page, just open this view page in a new tab, donation form. And this is how it will display as you can see. What is uh, the target, all these options, beginner, silver. Okay, everything is working over here. So this is how you create this form and this is how you uh, do these settings. Now, because we have created all the different pages that are required, now we can create a menu and we can fix the header and footer. So come back to your dashboard and let's first create our menu. So how are our appearance and click on menus. Or uh, you can name it anything. I'll just name it main menu. You can name it primary menu, header menu. You can name it anything you want. Click on create menu. Now select all the pages uh, under pages, select view all and select all the pages that you want to display. If you want to rename something, for example, instead of block page, I want to rename it will be block page, but I want to rename uh, this to all podcasts. 
Now, whenever you create this main menu under display location, always select primary menu and click on save menu. Come back to your website, refresh it. Now, as you can see, your menu is now showing. Now we need to fix the header and the footer. So for that, we'll click on customize link, which is, you know, given at the top. Now click on theme customization. You can change the theme color, you know, color format. Like as you can see, instead of this blue color, if you want some other color instead of this gray color, so you can change that as well. We want to go to header and we want to change the logo. So select this logo header, select file, enter any file of your choice. If you have your logo, simply enter your logo over here, click on set. Okay, now as you can see, your logo is now getting displayed. I think this was not the logo. Uh, let me select some other image. Okay, this is the logo. I'll select this. Click on open. Select. You're looking much better. Click on publish. Come back. And uh, secondary header. In header, do we have some... Okay, oh, everything is fine over here. Select call to action and enable this thing. So this will enable this thing, uh, this subscribe button. This is RSS feed, but the great thing is that we don't have to do anything. It is already created for you. You just don't do anything, just publish it. Now blog setting, if you want in blogs, uh, if you want sidebar in blog, you can make it on. If you don't want sidebar, you can just leave it off. Social networks. Now enter your social ID, social links. So I'll just copy this link. And let's enter this three social links. So when you enter that social links, you'll see that at the top header and you'll also see at bottom in the footer. Okay. Now we have footer customization logo for the footer. I'll select this logo. And what do we have next? We have the logo. We have this thing. Now, if you want to add some image in the footer, like as you can see, we have it over here. I'll simply select this option add image and let's add this image upload files select files open select this image okay now as you can see this is how it looks click on publish if you want to do some changes for example here image is quite clear here we have a overlay if you want to reduce that overlay simply make it off that overlay will be gone now as you can see click on publish now come back and where is uh, here it is footer copyright text so at the bottom it will display copyright whatever it is so if you want to display that so just type in copyright 2019 theme by whatever you like just add that text it will display at the bottom okay as you can see click on publish come back and uh, yeah rest everything is fine now we can cut this thing if you want to display that uh, footer menu like this menu, you can create a new menu. You can again come back to your dashboard, hover appearance, click on menus and let's create a new menu. Click on create a new menu. Uh, let's name it footer menu. Click on create menu. Uh, maybe I just want to add uh, donate uh, series and sponsors. I just want to add these three. Click on add to menu and tick mark this thing footer menu. Click on save menu. Come over here, refresh this page. When you scroll down, now as you can see, we have this menu in the footer. So this is how it is created. All right, guys, so with this, we have completed the page. Uh, just one more thing left, and that is how to submit this on, if you, obviously that is not at all necessary. You have your own podcast website. You need not submit your po podcast on Google or anything. But if you wanna do that, let's see how we can do that. Now, unfortunately, again, I cannot show you this because, uh, Google podcast is not yet available in India, but I'll show you the steps. If you go to Google and type in how to submit podcast on Google. Okay. If you type in this thing, how to submit podcast to, to Google podcast, you will see this link, very good link live 365.com open this link and it is so easy. You won't believe it. Okay. You just have to go to this page. Uh, here it is. Oh, open this link in a new tab. You have to go to this page, play.google.com slash music slash podcast slash publish. Okay. You go to that page. You, uh, I cannot see that because as you can see here, it says, unfortunately, po podcasts are not yet available in your country, but you will see this page, this, this button, publish button, click on that publish button. After that, click on add podcast. And after that, you just need to enter your RSS feed link. 
so your rss feed link will be your uh, website link slash feed okay if you uh, select this thing your website link after that forward slash feed not fee feed just type in feed it will display your rss feed as you can see uh, you can simply copy this link and paste it under this link as you can see this is how you'll see just paste in that rss link and click on submit rss field now if you want to submit only a specific topic or a specific series you can go to that as well for example I, if i want to submit only science series not all the podcast so i'll click on science now as you can see this is how your uh, url will look your website name slash series slash science and after that type in feed now copy this link and pub, uh, submit it over here now only the podcast that are uploaded on science series will be uploaded on uh, google so that is how it works it is very easy uh, i cannot show you unfortunately and similarly for apple also you can see i think it is given over here you simply have to go to uh this link okay how to submit your podcast to itunes you'll see the same link over here and follow a very similar procedure go to itunes connect click on podcast connect after that here also you just have to enter the rss feed rss url and click on submit very easy i cannot show you these things obviously because not available in my country unfortunately but with this we have completed this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I really enjoyed it because this was something new for me and I really liked the website design and how it has come about all the features and everything. So I hope you guys also enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click on bell so that you can also watch more videos like this. Whenever I upload new videos on my channel, you'll get a notification. If you find this video helpful, give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter that really helps me and i would really appreciate that if you have any doubt any comments any suggestions for me you can leave them in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching guys see you in the next one